Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, we have a story on Nene Leaks. I tell you, these housewives, they love staying in the press. They love staying in the news. Okay, but hey, it's news you can use and it helps them be out there. Um, meaning somebody's out there still talking about them, making them still be relevant. Honey, one of my YouTube family members sent me some information. I'm like, Nene, just close the shit down. Just, just close the Lanethia down. Uh, get your money back. Sell the stuff. And just go on and wait till your lawsuit has ended. And uh, hopefully it'll be very, very beneficial to you. Because I really don't feel like you're going to have anybody in your corner far as sending you uh, job opportunities. So make sure you get your money uh, so you can rest the rest of your life uh on that settlement that you're going to get but um let's go on to the story that someone sent me hopefully y'all are doing well as y'all can see i'm in the same shirt i am still taping and hopefully y'all are enjoying the videos that i'm bringing out okay get on in the comments you know i like when you do that like when you do that and uh make sure you share make sure you uh subscribe to the channel okay and and like my videos like them like them like them it helps my algorithm for my videos to get out there to the masses okay i am still <coughs> trying to search for this i never be right i always be like it don't come up when i need it to come up oh let me see hold on hold on mm -hmm. but what it is pretty much from what i did read what is actually going on? Can you bring my ginger? I know it. Um, then he having some more trial troubles, some trials and tribulations. <laughs> some more trials and tribulations, child. At that doggone lounge of hers, child, child, child. Folks quitting. She forever in a day. Um, hiring. Forever in a day hiring. Ain't nobody. They quitting in mid shift. Meaning her staff. Uh, I'm like Nene, Nene, Nene. Come on. What is it baby? What's going on? We can't always put it on someone else. What are we doing as far as management? What are we doing uh, being the owner? Are we treating our people correctly? Are we paying them appropriately? What's going on Nene? Cause they got your behind right back in the public's eye and anyway they do say good news uh, uh or bad news it's all good press shasi 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 come here for a second i can't find that article where did you put that article for me what article? that you had um blowed up so i can see it And and okay, I got it. Thank you. So I tell y'all family, <laughs> just like I'm sitting having a conversation with y'all in the room, and we trying to get a story developed and, and trying to put it out there for the family to read, enjoy, or regurgitate. Or you make you go, hmm. Okay, yes, yeah, that's what we got going on. That's what we got going on here. Thank you. And um, we get it from. Thank. I don't know. Let me see. Gossip of the City T. Okay, one of my um YouTube family members sent it to me, Miss Diane, Lady D, D Lady D, Lady Di, something like that. 
but we know her as girlfriend. <laughs> so shout out to Miss Diane. I always keep me in the know. Cause you everybody know I don't be going looking for shit. I don't. I go on my Twitter, my Instagram, YouTube. I see what's out there, what people are saying. I'd be like, mm, don't want to talk about that. Can I pull that off? I don't know. Shit. Let's try it anyway. Okay. But some stuff, you know, I like to see and hear about my housewives in Atlanta. You know, I, I like to, you know, make sure I'm up to date with what's going on with them and the rest of them, you know, they can fall by the wayside. I'll pick it up when I can. But when I got real housewives of Atlanta, Portia, Nene, Cynthia, Candice, Ray, uh, seems like we're going to have a little scene here and there with Magneta. Uh, and then we got Sonya out there, and I'm still mad. I'm still mad. She, cause I, I could believe she let her husband talk to another woman that way. See, I, I, if you ain't saw that video, please go look at it. Um, but anyway, let's get to this story that was put out here. Now I'm gonna read, and I might interject by stopping and giving y'all my two cents, three cents. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a worth of uh, reasoning, uh, so y'all can help me deduce this story to this is bullshit. It, you know. What, what is Nene doing out there? You know what I'm saying? Oh. What the, what the word I always say? Um, when I'm upset. Uh, what is it called? Dumbass. That's why I like to use bullshit and dumbass are my go-to words other than my four F's, foolishness, fuckery, fraudulent, uh, fraudulent fakery piece of shit going on around here. Y'all should know it. Y'all should know it by now. But that was some bullshit. Then he always be coming with the bullshit. Now, this is what is being said. I don't know if it's true. All of it's allegedly. Okay. It says, I think the, um, how my daughter was trying to explain it to me when I got the message from uh, family member Diane. She was saying it's two employees that got to fighting over at the Lanithia. Now, you see what I'm saying? World War Federation. Wrestling's going on over there. <laughs> we need, she needs to sell tickets for that shit, okay? I'm, I, I believe ain't nobody going up in there because when I went over there, it didn't look like nobody was over there. And then I went over there because I thought she, her, you know, her lounge had closed. She was just uh, gooping the people trying to make this, that, and the third. But it came out. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing going on over there. It's just dark, you know. So I guess she just told her employees to just draw, um, what do you call it? unemployment insurance. And hell, maybe Nene ain't even practicing. She ain't paying into that. I don't know what's going on. But y'all crazy for working for these reality stars and not letting them do their due diligence for you. You need health care. You need vision care. You need, uh, what is the other one? You need your paycheck to be straight. You need to be guaranteed your hours. You see what I'm saying? Because if she getting paid, God damn it, everybody else that's under her need to be getting paid. And me ain't no better. She know better. Okay, but let's go on into this so-called alleged story we're reading over here. It says, this is a co-worker responding to Brent. And Brent was responding back to her in a sense. And, or maybe not really because she was, from my understanding, trying to delete the text. It's, it's hard to send something and somebody screenshot it and you take it back. You know, it might not be viewable, but for everybody that follows Brent and follows this young lady that's getting on Brent, uh, they already been on screenshot it, baby. So I said, don't push it out there you don't want out there that you can't defend, okay? Just don't do it, all right? But from my understanding, this is how the story goes. Um, uh, that club is effing shit. You have all them followers and nobody be in that itch. No matter how much promoting you do, no matter who you book, the ish is not it. And that's why y'all be been giving everybody problems. Brent, you can unsend every last message. I already have screenshots. You already know. What the F it is, you call him a itch doing so. Let me see, doing so. Let's not, let's not even go there with that. I got my ass beat at work and you all did nothing but watch. He hit me first. It was self defense, security, drinking, and something, not even knowing shit going on. And you want to sue me? You begged me to stop. You begged me to not call the police while I'm on the phone with my mom. She heard everything. I got off the phone with her right in front of you when you asked to talk to me. 
You called me that night and told me straight up I didn't do nothing wrong. It's recorded, Goofy. I don't care about nothing else. Y'all pay. Y'all play fight all day. But when a Igga as big as you, your ass don't know. Well, your ass don't do shit, but watch. Would you be okay with your mom getting hit on? Oh, okay, so quick to put out a gun with Justin. You met your match with me and my mama. So it seems like it's going to be some more litigation. <laughs> now, some people were saying uh, uh, what my daughter was trying to say, that this is, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, Monique or the guy, I mean, the girl that her older son, uh, what is his name? Shit, Brent, they got Brent, Brent. Then we got Bryson. Okay, Bryson is her older son. It's uh, allegedly his uh, baby mama girlfriend that really didn't like Nene. She's involved in this stuff. Uh, people keep sending her screenshots of unhappy employees. Employees not getting paid. This, that, and the third. I'm like, whoa. Nene, Nene, Nene. Just, baby, just come on. Just close the club. Because, you know, I know you had Ray J down now. Trying to be a celebrity in the joint, but who is Ray J? You know what I'm saying? Ray J don't sing. Well, he tries to, but it don't come out right. He he's not a comedian. I mean, you were trying to get in the younger crowd to come in and meet him and greet him. Girl, please. You gotta do better, baby. You gotta do better. You better get up there and get them OJs or them whispers. Uh uh, let me see. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying the old oh, good. Hey, you could have Frank and Beverly and Mays up in there. Okay? And I make them down there with you because that's my type of music. My, my my type of feel-good music. But, child, I said, you just can't make this shit up. Nene is always in it. In the social media with nothing to stand on. Everybody's just after her behind. I'm like, Nene, Nene, Nene. Okay, that you not understand when you signed up to have a somewhat lounge uh eatery joint to come and relax listen to good food good uh good feel good music get served good food that you had a very very big responsibility for the public at large baby but you not understand that because now you're looking at the girl that got beat up or the employee got beat up by the other employee which was a male uh nobody tried to stop him from doing it uh, she got pulverized from what she's saying in this uh, video. And you as an employer do not supposed to have that going on. Because again, that is an assault charge. I don't know why the young lady uh, didn't just call 911 when she got out of the building or whatnot. So she didn't really feel safe and she felt nobody took up for her or whatnot. Um, and then she said Brent, which is Greg's son. Her youngest son, he didn't do anything but watch. But then towards the end, he gonna pull out a gun. Like to say the wild wild west, west up up in here. And why is uh, Brent having had to do any security? Don't you have people for that in their name? What the hell is going on, girl? So now you trying to sue somebody, but now somebody's trying to sue you. Is that way it goes? So it's like you get money, but you got to give out money because you didn't do your due diligence and pro and um, uh, provided a safe working environment for your employees okay you, you probably don't traumatize somebody up there to send somebody to get their ass whooped you know what i'm saying and you, i don't know <laughs> i don't know nanny it's definitely not looking good it seems like everything you touching now is turning to shit okay so i don't know you need to give us uh highlights on uh shabba man Okay, Mr. Shabba Man, Shabba, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, what is he doing? I said, damn, you're supposed to be getting sued by his wife. Girl, you got too much going on. It's all for the negative. I need, Maybe you need to, like, I don't know, have some sage up there or something. Get the evil spirits off you, girl. Do right by people. That's probably what it is. Your karma is coming full circle because you haven't done right by people. And Lord knows, somebody else had told me. I think it was my daughter had told me somebody met Nene in the street and she just walked right past them. Shit, I don't know. I said, that's her M.O. She wants to be known. She wants people to feel sorry for her. And she wants to keep having this fucked up attitude. 
but you don't want to take accountability. You got to take accountability to see the sun again, Nene. You got to. There's no way around it. You have done too much. You have said too much. You have made people be indifferent where your, you had one solid group of people really rooting for you, but then you, you, you become unhinged. And then they're like, okay, maybe I need to second my I need to have second thoughts about being riding for this woman. You see what I'm saying? Because you do everything so sporadically. And you do everything so off the top. And you don't know how to, to, how you say, move in silence. Still get your a point across. Still try to be a part of a situation that's unbearable. But doing it the correct way. You see, we heard that that's from Mariah Hook. From Mary to Madison Hadwick. And we sure did. But we didn't have a lot of information she was putting out there on a daily basis dogging somebody. You know what I'm saying? It came here and there. You know, whenever it got to, uh, I guess she wanted to keep it in the news that she was doing stuff behind the scenes because it was unfair what they were doing to her. They stole something she had created and they, you know, didn't have shit writing down or anything. Should have been wrote down. All this verbal, verbal stuff is kind of like, it's just a remiss thing when you don't have things written down. Because verbal, it can go either way. You know what I'm saying? It depends on what kind of judge is trying your case and what kind of jury is up there listening to it. But, um, child, oh, and I did find out that the reason why they're in New York was because Andy had, um, his little baby girl. And he felt like he didn't want to travel or something to that degree. I may have it wrong, but that's what's being put in my ear. And I'm like, well, women have to travel every day. You know what I'm saying? We have to uproot our cells from our children that have to be that small. I mean, that's why he need a nanny. He breastfeeding the baby. Okay, he he he, he could have had the shit down here in Atlanta. Okay, I'm just sorry. Let it be wherever uh you have the show being taped in. You see what I'm saying? The shit the tape ain't getting done. The taping one being done in New York. You know when the season fourteen came. So I'm like, uh, uh-uh, don't be don't be like you all this and that. Women have had babies and go right back to work after six weeks. Some people push it to four weeks. Okay, we don't have that luxury. So. For them to have to go up to New York, unless they just really wanted to, you know, they wanted to get out of Atlanta for a while. But, hey, Ovid is still out there. Monkey Pops is going around here. So I wouldn't have felt comfortable myself. But then I'm not on the reality show. But maybe we need to change that, okay? Maybe we get seasoned YouTubers, you know, that can act real. Uh, they're not camera shy. I need to be up there having a reality show. Hell no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Because coming with that responsibility opens up a par uh we call it a paradox box that it could be for you or it could be against you. So I I kinda like this on my screen sitting here doing what I'm doing and getting my little revenue check here and there. You see what I'm saying? But it's just just what it is. I'm not looking for that fame. I would love to get that YouTube uh <clears throat> plat that you get when you have a hundred K. That's what I'm working for too, and I'm gonna be doing real smooth and good. God willing, if I, uh, when I retire, I plan on doing this full time and being at home, uh, making videos and trying to get people to come over to the show and this, that, and that. I got plans for me, honey, because uh, just because I want to retire from my real profession doesn't mean I want to give up working totally, because I ain't one of them kind of folk that be like, uh, I'm going to uh, retire, but then after being a year off, they're working at some part-time joint whatever it be re retail in some function or, or or just going to another job doing something very light and, and you only work like four hours if you do that shit i don't clock on nobody clock uh-uh when i retire i'm retired okay if i want to do philanthropy work like go work for charities and uh give my services free that's something to think about and maybe um something i would definitely think about doing but uh-uh no nope 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 youtube and my job keep me busy other than the other stuff i have to regularly do anyway but uh that's not a best job I, I thought i'd just bring this story out to the fam to see if y'all can digest it to see what the hell is going on you know I, do i need to take another ride out there and see What's going on? You know, like, ring, you know, I can't call them because the phone just be ringing, ring, ring. I even called them when y'all was on live with me. Well, I wasn't on live, but I was taping it and y'all was hearing the situation. But I'm like, girl, girl, it's too much. And then you providing a hostile work environment that you say you were prone to 
at the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. Now, what about your employees, Nene? Isn't that coming full circle? Why are you not providing, allegedly, a safe haven for these people to work for you? Girl, and like I said, you forever, ever in a day, hiring. That should not be a prop. That should not be the issue at your restaurant or lounge or whatever you call it these days that should not be an issue so that shows poor management poor ownership okay because you're not taking accountability for the safety of your employees from what i'm reading i mean all of us allegedly we i wasn't there i don't know i'm just saying what somebody told me and what i read girl hey, what's going on with you nana Dad, you give it then you take it away or they give it then they take away from you girl you better get your soul right if not your soul, get your spirit right, honey. Well, that's the same thing. Get, get, get your mind right. Get that mental up there right. Because things are not going to work out for you if you continue to go down this road of non-accountability. All right? You start taking accountability. You change your attitude a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Adjust it here and there and live life. But you can't when you're messing with a married man. That's one strike against you. Okay? The, the, the married man situation. Then... The issue with you trying to receive work. Because you saying and I, I can't say and they have all that kind of power. You don't pissed off some major, major players in the industry is what you done did. Because uh, Andy don't write your checks. He works for Bravo just like you do or you were at the time. No, you done pissed off some highly, highly big lucrative business people. Okay? May it be female or male. And that's why you're in the situation you're in. Again, you did not make housewives. Housewives made you. You just played a character or your alter ego and people were relatable to you. That is it. That is all. You did not put your money into the situation where you're writing out your own checks. So if once you get that through your thick skull and stop saying, I'm the author, I am the creator, that's my baby. I, no, no, Bravo just let you rant with that too long. And then they tried to reel the shit back in that, no, you're just an in, call it, a individual contributor to their conglomerate, basically. Let me say that again for you. You just an employee of theirs in their lucrative business. You're not at the uh, table making decisions. You're not even a creator of what you would like to see, you know, played out. You're not at the table. They're not going to put you at the table because you don't know how to keep your mouth shut. You don't understand the business etiquette of whatever stays in Vegas, stays in Vegas. Same thing with any state you live in. Whatever happens in Georgia, it stays in Georgia. Okay, you don't go around asking people at this, that, and the third and call yourself screenshotting, recording people without their knowledge. That's, ir what do you call it, immiscible? Immiscible in, in court? You can't use something uh, such as tape recordings, Nene, and uh, surprise attack them on the other end. You have to have permission to tape somebody that they feel they're not being coerced or anything like that. And they freely say, yes, let's have a conversation. And yes, you can tape it. You can't just go doing all this shit. That's not legal. See what I'm saying? Then you tell me what you wanted to be a lawyer at one time on College Hill. I like her, please. Please. <laughs> okay. We don't want to hear that shit. That, that's just that's just again my four f's we ain't gotta go through it but y'all can repeat it to yourself because that's what she giving us bullshit okay bullshit but that's all i got for this video guys i thought i would bring it out to you all because that's what's being said on these atlanta streets uh tonight okay <laughs> nene has gotten herself in another situation now how you gonna have your son being the dj the security the accountant the payroll administrator uh the grievance uh consultant you, you got him wearing too many hats and neither one is solidified he having any valuable experience okay maybe the dj in part but the people are staying down that they ain't getting their paycheck the paycheck is messed up so are they better accountants than your son they didn't even get this shit straight or better yet close shit down and, and, and write books for the rest of your life do something that's 
intangible, I, I would have to say. Not tangible, because you're not, you're not faring well. Not when you have to, uh, what do you call it, close your club down, a lounge, at the drop of a hat, have the phone disconnected. That ain't cute. Ain't nothing cute about that. You're losing revenue, baby. Girl. That's all I got for this video, guys. I ain't got no more, and I'll see you on the next one, all right? Family, try to help this situation out. Bring some life into it. Because I don't see anything positive with this situation. And we all know. Nene forever posting job positions. Like, what are you paying for? $2 an hour? And you want 80 hours a week from now? Girl. Doing too much, Nene. Doing too, doing too much. All right. See y'all guys.